before the break. <coughs> so now the instead of doing this relational structure complete pipeline that is kind of hard and the outcome is okay but perhaps it's not solved the problem and so if you have a text the extracting knowledge base is not perfect it's not uh, really extracting all the possible relations that are in text. So these graphs are perhaps not the better to be used in MIR. So we develop another approach, more simple, to exploit the semantic information. So the idea is to create a knowledge graph from a text document. And so this knowledge graph is based on mainly on entity link. No? Um, I define here three different kind of graphs, the knowledge based graph, the graph of entities, and the <coughs> semantically enriched graph. So I, I will explain now the difference between these graphs and then in the next uh, in the next slides we will see how to apply this to MIR. So imagine we have a knowledge base. This a knowledge base like Wikipedia for example, and we do a query and we get information, so we build a knowledge graph. With the, with the information in the knowledge space. So the knowledge space is also a graph, but we can take a subset, for example, all the music information that is in Wikipedia related to music and build this knowledge graph with the information there. So, for example, here, Wilco is an entry in Wikipedia, and Sonbot is another entry in Wikipedia. They have some information like the band member, genre, hometown, record label. Okay, so we can build a graph with that. We have the entities, Wilco and Sonbot the relations, names, the, the, the predicates of the relation, and the entities that are they are related to them. What is defined? We, we plot them in, in the form of a graph. So, okay, this knowledge base can also be constructed with the process of relational extraction that we, Luis explained before. So we can have an, a knowledge base extracted from text and then build a graph from that and use that. So, okay, but if instead of doing this process, we can also just apply entity linking to the documents and then create what we call a graph of entities. So this is, for example, two documents, the biography of Wilco and the biography of Sonbot, and we have these, these sentences from there. So the idea here is apply entity linking first, so the system identify the different entities, and then build a graph with this. So we first we have the nodes of the document subjects, so we go and so on, <coughs> and then we have all the entities that were identified in the text and connect them to this node. So the entities in Wilco are Alternative Block, J. Ferrer, and Tupelo, and Sonbot is American, J. Ferrer, and, and Alternative Country. So we build this graph. This is the entity, graph of entities. So in this way, we can have a set of documents, just apply the linking and build a graph like this. So we have these two approaches, and we also can combine a graph of entities with information from the knowledge base, and create what we call a semantically enriched graph. So this is the graph of entities, but we have, as we have used entity linking, we have identified all these entities in a reference knowledge base. So we can get some information from this reference knowledge base to enrich the graph. For example, Ante Tupelo and Jay Ferrer are entities that were detected in, in these documents, and they are in Wikipedia, and we have information from Wikipedia of these entities. So we can expand this graph, adding more labels and more nodes with the information from Wikipedia. So in this way, we can enrich the semantic graph and build this uh, semantic representation of a document. So, and this is what we are going to use uh, for MIR. This is another example of a semantically enriched graph. Here, in this case, from FreeSound. FreeSound is a website where users can upload songs and add a description to the sounds. So, what we did is we apply a link to the description of the sounds, and then we got this is a sound, and this is another sound. We have the two words that were identified as entities, the Wikipedia or the Wikipedia results, <coughs> and then from Wikipedia, we extract more information, the categories of these entities, and the broader categories. So in this way, from at the beginning, in the document, you just have this. If you do this, at the end, you have all this information described in the, the, the item. 